So when I was shuffling the cards, the uh, image that I got for you was um, I saw an aloe vera leaf and I feel like, you know, somebody's peeling it open and inside um, is that, I guess, the, the fleshy part. It's, um, it's used kind of like as a salve or as a balm for people who have uh, burns. It's used to kind of like, you know, soothe the skin. So I see a hand, somebody like um, touching that part and then smoothing it on a rough patch of skin. Okay, so the substance itself is very viscous, so it's a little bit sticky. And it's not very appealing, but the effect that it has on an inflamed part of the body, in particular the skin, is very, very soothing. So when we take that image and we kind of um, examine the spread based on that, I, I definitely feel like there has been whatever tension in your life that has been kind of raging out of control for some of you, I see a lot of fire imagery here. And I feel like, you know, you, you might be dealing with somebody who is hot-headed. You might be dealing with someone who's impulsive. And I also feel like, you know, you have these tendencies within yourself too, but you're able to calm them within yourself. And I feel like, you know, in effect, you're able to calm and soothe them in other people. And so what I do sense is, um, let's just say, you know, like uh, at work, there were a lot of um, things that needed to be done a specific way. I feel like there might have been somebody who was very uh, possibly a little bit controlling when it comes to how they want things done. And I feel like, you know, you're quite easygoing. And if it's your supervisor, or if it's your boss, or if it's somebody that is higher up, you're going to, you're not going to fight their methodology. You're not going to, you know, even if you don't agree with it, you understand that, okay, this person wants it a specific way, so I'm just going to do it that way. And I definitely feel like the person is getting some type of a backlash based on their rigidity and based on just their, the, um, their personality, their temperament. I feel like they're getting kind of like their, uh, a taste of their own medicine. It, it's, it's almost like coming to the realization that they were trying to control things too much, coming to the realization that there is a better way to do things or that people do things differently as long as we arrive at the same outcome, then who cares about the method? So they're, they're going to ease up when it comes to micromanaging the work that you do. And they're going to also, you know, let people just kind of be, okay? So I see an easing up of tension when it comes to work. Um, I also feel like there is a certain amount of trust that is involved. So, you know, maybe at first they didn't know your capabilities. They didn't know how you work. They didn't understand your mental processes. But over time, it has allowed this person to truly, you know, rely on you and trust you. And they see you on an everyday basis. So then they're able to um, ease up a little bit because they know you're dependable. They know you're always there. And they know that, you know, worse come to worse, we can fix it later. So... That, that sense of urgency is definitely easing up when it comes to this person. Um, I'm also feeling as well, for those of you who are in um, any type of creative industry, where if you are, for example, a performer, a dancer, a musician, there's an element here about you being kind of like the... It, it, it's something where your presence or the, the, your words or your voice is very, very soothing to somebody who is aching, somebody who is in pain or somebody who is experiencing a lot of turmoil in their lives. So I feel like your words, if you're a counselor, if you're a therapist, is very soothing. If you are a musician, the sounds that you make, the music that you make, and your voice is very, very soothing for another person. Um, so I see some major, major breakthroughs here when it comes to um, therapy, when it comes to treatment, when it comes overall to, you know, having a sense of direction to ease up on some type of a physical ailment or some type of a physical uh, getting to the bottom of um, some mysterious illness or some some symptoms that are um, that have not been, you know, properly diagnosed. So I, I feel like some breakthrough when it comes to 
diagnoses or health situation. Um, I'm seeing some people putting on a lot of creams, a lot of lotions, a lot of salves, a lot of um, just things to moisturize. Um, it is the winter time here in the northern hemisphere, and so you know the air tends to be a little bit drier. We take um, hot baths and showers, so then our skin tends to crack. So I, I see that element, and you know that's that's a very very mundane observation but I see that coming through so this might be a time for you to take extra care if you have children if you have recently given birth or if you have children around you they're going to need that okay so uh, making sure you moisturize making sure you kind of ease their discomfort um, I see a lot of skin situation dry skin, cracked skin, inflamed skin or like experiencing minor burns so that that's something that you can definitely you know find ways to soothe if it's you or if it's somebody that is younger than you especially like a child um in love relationships too you have some really really good cards what i do see here is an air sign so i have an aquarius a gemini or a libra and i feel like for some of you this is somebody that you've known for quite some time okay we have here the page of swords this is the beginning um when you uh, knew the person um, moving into the queen of swords this is how they are right now male or female aquarius gemini and libra and what i feel is this is somebody that you've known for quite some time there might have been you know um if the relationship was not given an opportunity to get off the ground if you had a one night stand with this person or if you had like a friendship with this person and for whatever reason things just never got off the ground um, for whatever reason things just never materialize into a stable relationship I feel like there is an opportunity for a do-over I feel like there's an opportunity here where the two of you are coming back together and the two of you can have a very um, lasting and 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 I, I feel like soothing uh, relationship if in the past one person has been very childish you know they say things that might have been a little bit harsh a little bit hurtful I feel like they have grown out of it they have you know gone through life and experienced their own sets of disappointments and they have very very high expectations so I almost feel like their standards are, are rigid, uh, they're perfectionistic, and they might, uh, you know, want things a very specific way. And so if they looked at that past relationship with you and they're like, I want things like this, it has to be like exactly like this, otherwise I don't want it at all. I see them kind of easing up when it comes to, you know, having these unrealistic standards. And I see them easing up when it comes to their communication with you. Um, there's still that tongue-in-cheek type of um, humor. I, I feel like it's somebody who's a little bit too sarcastic and the things that they say might um, might not seem completely compassionate or well thought out or gentle but I see them easing up and I see them kind of letting their guard down and you know being a lot more emotionally available. I'm also seeing as well if you're dealing with a, uh, a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, so maybe another um, Pisces like yourself, um, what I'm feeling is this person, if in the past they have been a little bit more on the controlling end, I don't see extreme control situations, but I feel like they, they like to protect you. They like to, to think like they know what's best for you. And they like to, you know, kind of... Um, I feel overstep their boundaries but the, the the thing about this water sign here shows up as a king of cups I'm drawn to the flames that are on his uh, the, the blue what looks like blue flames and you know blue flames have higher temperature and what I feel like this is a person that has a lot of passion for you and sometimes it's really hard for them to contain it so when they when they are overwhelmed with their emotions i feel like it can come out in a way where they like to tell you what to do or they like to you know once again think they know what's best for you and they like to express what they think is best for you and so this can be you know sun moon or rising but um i definitely feel somebody that you have a very strong emotional connection with 
and they're letting go of control issues. They're letting go of, you know, the uh, need to micromanage everything, to plan everything, to do everything. I feel like there is a massive easing up and there's a, a process of, you know, uh, let's just be together and not try to control situations, not try to speculate what's going to happen in the future. And let's just enjoy the moment with each other while we're in this to, uh, this together. So um, I definitely feel like an evening out of a relationship if it has been turbulent in the past. Um, there are things coming in here that indicates to me uh, things will soothe themselves out or smooth themselves out. Um, I feel like for many of you, um, you take on the role of the fixer in a situation. So, you know, whoever, so let's say your um, your friends, right? And I, I feel like you attract people who are very intense, you know, who are like very fixed in their ways are very intense and when I said fix I automatically think about Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo. I'm not sensing a Leo vibe here but Taurus, um, Scorpio, Aquarius and um, I, I, I'm sensing that your easygoing attitude is what really you know opposites attract, attracts the the really stubborn, uh, rigid, uh, intense um, my way or the highway types of people. And a lot of the times I feel like opposites attract energy, um, allows both parties to grow. Okay. When we take like a certain trait to, to an extreme, being too passive, being too much of a doormat, that can be really detrimental. But then when we also take, you know, on the opposite end of the spectrum, when we take like the, the, the other end, which is someone who's too rigid, who's too controlling, who's too, dogmatic that can also be very very bad and so i feel like the opposites attract energy allows the two of you to learn from one another so that you both can arrive at a middle ground where you can compromise in certain respect without losing your sense of identity in other respects so i feel like it's a learning process for both parties involved okay and i feel like you guys might encounter these really intense characters um, possibly love relationships, um, possibly bosses, and possibly co-workers. And I also feel like, you know, they gravitate towards you because um, you have a very soft and gentle energy about you. And what I've noticed about Piscean people is uh, people can tell you the most outrageous, uh, intense story. And I feel like you don't judge you listen to what they say and then you respond in a very wise and calm manner you don't judge you don't hold anything against the other person and and, and i i feel like um sometimes you are shocked at what you're hearing but i don't feel like it shows up in your face because you're able to understand that things do happen you know and so you don't look at them skeptically like um, are you telling me the truth? And you don't even question the fact that um, their motives, why are you telling me this? I feel like you absorb the information and you truly, truly listen. And I feel like people come to you a lot to vent, to, um, to kind of unburden themselves of this emotional, really heavy emotional experience. And I feel like over time too, you know, um, you know a lot of what other people go through. And I, I also feel like you're kind of like that, that bomb, that soothing agent when they are in need of relief. Okay. So it's a really, really beautiful energy. And I feel like most of you guys should be either teachers, counselors, or therapists because you have a natural affinity for it. Um, so if you're thinking, you know, like what career path should I choose? What, um, what kind of, what coursework should I, you know, um, settle into? I, I feel like those fields might be really good for you. I see a lot of medicinal, um, types of like an interest in medicine, 
but I feel like it's not so much modern medicine. I feel like it's more like traditional medicine using different modalities um, so that you can heal uh, people using different alternative methods of um, alternative medicine or even using a little bit more traditional medicine resorting to that reverting back to that and finding that is very effective okay so um, that's what I'm seeing here if you have been dealing with parents for example that have had you know um, control issues too and they want you to do certain things a certain way they have certain expectations of you I see an easing up process and I feel like a lot of it has to do with just the fact that you know you're at a point where financially you're very stable you have some fame under your belt too for some of you like you might be in the public eye uh, or others of you it's like you have achieved it you have achieved this moment of success here I have the star this is a card about inspiration having made it having a lot of fame um, I'm not sure about fortune but nothing in here sh indicates to me financial hardship so you know no news is good news in my book so I definitely feel you're at a point where you're able to you know buy mom and dad like very expensive uh, presents you're able to take care of the people that you love you're able to take care of yourself you're able to you know make it on your own and so they're not going to be too controlling or overstep their boundaries when it comes to you because now they feel like they can trust you okay um, I feel like it has taken many of you a long time to get here your life path meandered and I feel like you might have had a lot of problems saying no to people, okay? Um, not wanting to uh, the other person to to get upset, not wanting to say no. It's it's almost like you're you were very uncomfortable with saying no, with de um, dealing somebody rejection. Not that you're afraid of rejection, but it's like you're afraid to say no and hurt the other person's feelings and reject them and turn them down because you're considerate. So I feel like that has been a little bit detrimental when it comes to your own individual development. But I feel like something changed within you where saying no is, is not problematic anymore. And I feel a lot of it has to do with, you know, uh, growing up and grown into our own sense of individuality and self-awareness uh, knowing that we can't be everything to everybody and pulling back our energy so that we focus on the things that matter to us and then I also feel in a certain way many of you um, have been you know dealing with very intense people like I mentioned before and they don't mean it but they kind of test your boundaries when people are very intense or they're very fixed they know what they want they know you know like who they want to be with and they're very clear about their objective so that might rub itself like rub off on you and it's changing the way in which you are presenting yourself to others you know you're able to say no and you're able to emulate or copy the behavior of those fixed people in your life the really intense fixed people and so in a way it's teaching you to maintain clear boundaries and then I also feel dealing with these people who are quite demanding who are quite like we need to get this done we need to get that done we need to get everything done in a timely manner even though there's no uh, deadline is forcing you to be better with time management is forcing you to be a lot better with taking initiative, taking charge, which I feel is something that you guys have um, really needed to learn, okay? Um, doing things with a little bit more of a sense of urgency. And uh, once again, I'm, I'm drawn to these two cards. They're flames. This is sort of like new beginnings, you know, the, uh, the new start that comes out from uh, a fiery situation okay like a passionate new start somebody lighting fire under you to get things moving to get things going and then I'm drawn to this very subtle blue flame on his dress it's a he it's a king of cups where things have to be lit up within you in order for you to make a move and I feel like you're learning from these people that we have to take initiative we can't let life and opportunity slip away from us we have to you know um, 
we have to be the driver in our own lives. And I feel like that's allowing you guys to move along um, in a very, very directed manner. So if in the past you've been kind of wishy-washy, I, I definitely feel like you're becoming a lot more directed about, directed driven as well. And I feel like all it took was um, finding something that you're very passionate about. So I feel like for, for Pisces, um, if you're at a job that is kind of subpar, you know, like it, it's, um, let's say if you're doing sales and your, your heart is not fully committed to it, I feel like, you know, you, you might not operate at your best. So it requires you to find something that really, truly makes your soul sing. So finding that one thing that really, really motivates and drives your passion, that's where you're going to feel internally motivated to do well, internally motivated to excel and out excel, like excel beyond your peers. And, you know, feeling the need to like motivate it, like wake up every day to do the same thing over and over again and not be bored because that's where your passion lies. And so I, I feel like there's a lot of a big sense of, you know, feeling alive, feeling like your heart is uh, truly in alignment with your life path and feeling inspired and feeling like there is a sense of direction moving forward. Um, I, I feel like the, the love front, things are looking really, really good. And I feel almost like you finally have the one that you've been uh, waiting on. So if in the past no one was really budging, this is the week where things take off. This is a week where there are messages regarding us. I, I see like messages regarding love, messages that are very soothing and messages that comes through from a person that in the past have not been very um, compassionate. Not that they're not compassionate, but I feel like it's hard for them to express their emotions. So this is the week where they will express themselves in a way that will allow you to see and to feel, like really feel how much you mean to them or what you mean to them. And so I feel like, you know, you're no longer playing the guessing game. You're no longer like feeling like you're putting in all the effort and they're not reciprocating. There's definitely reciprocity and things and people coming together. Um, there's a great opposites attract energy here. I'm seeing like, you know, the red flames and the blue flames. And I feel like one person is very subtle. The other person is very um, blunt. I'm seeing one person is very, very physically attracted to the other person. And then the other person is very emotionally attracted to the other person. So there's a sense of like one person is very physically attracted to you possibly. And then you're very emotionally attracted to them or vice versa. So I definitely feel that opposites attract energy is still there, but it's very harmonious. And uh, if you've been waiting for, you know, that person, they're definitely making themselves known and making their feelings known, making their intentions known. Um, it's a beautiful reading. Um, I, the energy is really soft. And I feel like you've got somebody who's putting their guard down, okay? I wish you all the best, Pisces.